Today I want to show you around a little bit in the Kartra affiliate program. So you can set up affiliates for your products directly through Kartra and I'm going to show it to you from both being an affiliate and creating affiliate things for your um, partners to promote. So it starts with products. You need a product that uh, you can sell before you can um, offer money for it, right? Offer, offer <laughs> affiliates money for it. So this is my brand new masterclass that leads into my signature offer right now that I'm super excited about. So I have set it up to, um, to be an affiliate and that area here, this means that it is set up. So before you get all the affiliate stuff together, this would be grayed out like this one is. But yeah, once this is filled out, then you can click here and this gives you the link that you can share with other people for them to sign up to become your affiliate. And you can, just like with any other page, you can update this URL with your custom domains and whatever you want on the back end. And then you'll be able to send that link to people and it will take them to a login page like this. And I can't click this because it's going to tell me I can't be an affiliate for my own program. But you click this button and it takes you through the process of like putting in your information and your um, put in how you want to get paid, all of that good stuff. So once you've signed up, then you'll have your own login. And if you already have a Kartra account, it will get added to your Kartra account and I'll show you where. If you don't, then it will set one up for you that just has this affiliate area in it. So let's go back over here. So once you sign up to be an affiliate with a program, we scroll all the way down on the left hand side and underneath this little tiny divider that you can barely see, it says my affiliate promos. So now anything that you have signed up to be an affiliate of is going to show up here. So these are all the different things that I have an affiliate link for. These are from different friends and clients and Kartra itself. So, you know, you could sign up for my affiliate link for Kartra. See the description box. <laughs> um, so this is where you get the promotional link. This will tell you more about the um, commissions. So let's pick one that actually has one that shows. So 50% commission on this, 20% commission for JV. I'll explain that in a moment, but basically this is my link. And when you're setting it up, you can show multiple landing pages. So I will also be showing you that, but, um, this particular promotion has three landing pages associated with it. These two are free opt-ins. And then this is the paid thing that I would get a commission on. Well, this is a small commission for these. And I will explain that too. Oh my gosh, we have so much to go over. Um, it's hard to know what order to even go in when explaining things, right? So, um, so you can set up multiple links to to um, your product. And basically, when I use one of these links, then it attaches my name to anybody who clicks on it. So when they go into this person's account and not account, but when they go to this person's product and make a purchase, then the system automatically detects that I'm the one who sent them there and it pays me a commission. And I can see my payments up here. I can see my earnings, which I don't think I have any yet. <laughs> um, I can create my own tracking links if I wanted to distinguish, like I put this link on Facebook and I put this link on LinkedIn and which one performed better. So I can set that up if I want to for myself. Um, yeah, so there's analytics, there's all kinds of stuff here. So this is what it looks like when you are the affiliate. But if you're setting up an affiliate program for your offer, let's go back over to products. When you're first setting up a product, which is this button over here, um, it's going to be one of the steps along the way. And I'm going to go in and edit this one to show you. Okay, so... Along the top here, you'll see all the different steps of setting up a product and down here at this end is affiliates. So we're going to just 
quickly zoom through to get to this part because I've already set all these things up. You can always change, but it will show you the check mark if it's all fine and set. It will show you a red uh, hourglass timer if you've said I'll set that up later and, um, and it's not functional yet. But we're going to go save it next all the way through until we get to affiliate. Okay, here we go. So when you first are creating a product, it's going to automatically be on no affiliate program, but you can come in there, change it, click activate affiliate program. Any different price tiers that you set up for your product can have different affiliate commissions. So for me, I have three price points. This is, um, the price of a full funnel build for people who have gone through my masterclass as a bonus, they get a discount. This is a payment plan for that funnel. And this is the regular price. So for all of them, I have put the commission at a fixed amount of $200 and that can be, um, that can be either a percentage or a fixed amount. So you could do 30%, you could do 50% like you saw on the other person's product. Um, my prices are pretty low. I can't really afford to offer 50% on these project builds, but maybe eventually um, the cost will go up and the affiliate commission will go up. But for now, um, everybody's getting $200. And as you can see on this installments, um, for the initial charge, so the first $400 installment, half of that is going to go to the affiliate, but then after that, they don't get any more. So they get their $200 right away, but then the next two installments don't take anything. So you can really customize this a lot. There's, um, you can add another tier. So if you had standard affiliates versus VIP affiliates or something like that. Um, you can do that. And, um, JV broker. So I, I don't really, I haven't used this at all yet, but it may come up as I network and connect with more people in JV, especially JV directory. Um, this is for, people who have a network of affiliates under them. So it's kind of like um, a website like AWIN, which is like a marketplace of different programs that you can sign up to be an affiliate of. So they, you know, what is their percentage? So it gets a little bit more complicated with that. And I usually just leave it out because I'm just, I'm getting individuals who are signing up to sell this not signing up in order to sign other people up to sell it basically. Um, now this is an interesting option that the previous product that I showed you that I'm an affiliate for is using for this, you can activate for affiliates to get a benefit when people opt in to a free lead magnet. So, you pick which form they signed up from and then how much and the the product that i'm an affiliate for is doing one dollar for every lead that you bring in those people are free um you know they they just downloaded a freebie they haven't purchased anything yet i still get paid a dollar um and then if and when they go on to purchase the larger product then i get paid for that as well and this is nice because as my, as my friend who created that product pointed out, uh, where can you get leads for a dollar? If you're, you know, Facebook advertising, you're going to be spending $5 per lead, $12 per lead. So $1 per lead is, is pretty darn good. If you had a funnel that had a tripwire with a, you know, low cost thing that people could purchase, it could balance that out if you wanted to. So there's lots of reasons why you might want to use this. I am not using it at the moment. So that may change in the future. I am not sure. And then you can add them to a list. I don't use lists a lot. I use just tags, but 
If you um, like to organize by list, you can add them to lists. You can tag them, which is what I always do. So tag everyone for everything. That is my philosophy. Uh, payment milestones. So you can set up when they get paid. This is the default here. Landing pages for your affiliate traffic. So this is your sales page or whatever. Um, thing you want people to be promoting. So for me, this is an interesting one because this is not the sales page for this product. This is the sales page for the free opt-in. People don't earn a commission on free opt-ins, but if that person goes on to purchase the funnel build, then they get that commission. So I want to lead people to this free masterclass that then gives them the discount on the full funnel build. So that is the page so I put in here. This does not have to be a Kartra page. You can also put external URL. You can put any page you want here. And the description is to tell the affiliates what it's for. So that's like I showed you earlier when I put up my affiliate link and it had a list of links. It told me what each of those links was for. So I put in here, this is the free masterclass that leads people towards the purchase. <clears throat> Um, I tried messing with this and I didn't really see any difference. So I don't know, mm, like I tried to put this in and you put in a code, but you can also just use a regular button and it pops up too. So I would, I would ignore that and leave that alone. <laughs> so let's see, I have to save this and then we'll be finished. So that is the affiliate program set up for this funnel and up at the top here, this is still under my products, you can see your affiliates area. So you can see a list of people who are your affiliates and how they've been doing. You can see how many sales they've made and stuff like that. You can set up some settings here. Whether you want to um, manually approve people, if you don't want people you don't know signing up to be an affiliate, something like that. Um, Instant payments for those. Yeah, I haven't looked at that. Um, you can decide whether people are only going to get a commission on one particular product, on that product, or if they'll receive a commission for anything. If people end up browsing around and finding something else, that they'll still get credit for that, which I have definitely done. Um, if there's a minimum number of sales that people need to do before they get paid, whether or not they need to submit a W 9. Um, Will they get paid even if they haven't submitted it? I should probably change that. I should probably update that to yes. Um, if you have any terms and conditions, um, you can set up a questionnaire from right here. So when people click on that button to sign up as an affiliate, it will ask whatever custom questions you want. Maybe that's what's the size of your email list or what is your open rate? Those are pretty standard questions of affiliates. You can see the payment history that went out. You can look at the analytics, transactions, sales, so you can see the activity of your affiliates from there. And then, let's see, did I cover everything? I know there's one more thing I wanted to show you, which is sending people their affiliate link through email. Um, so, oh, and swipe copy. So there's not like a, a portal to put swipe copy in so what I have for mine is I've set up uh, an email sequence that sends out the first email, like goes over how to log into your account, how to find your links, you know, really make sure people are able to utilize it. And then the second email has swipe copy ideas for social posts and emails and images that they can download right from there. Um, you could set that up as a membership portal, but um, they would have to log in separately. So it's a little bit, you know, it's not, it's not as smooth to do it that way because they'd have to log into their main Kartra account to get to here. And then they'd have to log into the membership portal page to get whatever you've put in the portal, like the swipe copy. So it's doable, but it's not, it's not elegant. So I've done it by email and we'll see how well that works. I can always update that and change that however I want to. Um, so yeah, let me go over to email real quick and show you that. Okay, so whether by sequence or by broadcast, and actually I should add this to my sequence for affiliates actually. So I'll do that when I finish this. 
but uh, for now I'm just gonna I don't have categories not really for this we're not sending my text message we're sending my email I need to update this because this is not an email that can receive replies but you can manually update that if you need to here you select who it's going to so we can say has tag because I tagged affiliates. It may also have something about affiliates on here. Look at all these options. Freaking love all these options. Survey clicked is an active affiliate. Is not an active affiliate. If you want to do some kind of like a re-engagement campaign, get affiliates back on board. Um, send an email to all the people who were referred by a particular person. That's pretty cool. So yeah, is an active affiliate would be a great choice for this. Um, I always click this. Um, this has to do with two-step opt-ins and eh, so far, I think America federally does not require this. So until they do, I'm going to keep clicking that. I don't like double opt-ins. It just is a barrier. Uh, it won't let me go because I have no people <laughs> that fit that profile because I haven't really been promoting this affiliate thing yet. Um, so yeah, this is rarely a good idea, but um, we're not actually sending this email, so I will go ahead and say that. And we'll do a single email. I do not have a big enough list to try an A-B split. Okay, so what I wanted to show you is this dynamic variables. So I know that you are probably familiar with how you can personalize emails by adding first name that pulls it from the database to whoever it's sending it to. So I get an email from somebody's newsletter list that's like, hey, Carolyn, blah, 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 blah. They did not manually send me that email, hopefully. Um, so that can, can come in and you can get a bunch of those kind of variables that might be useful. Like maybe you need to tell people like your first month is coming to an end. You joined on this date and it personalizes it to everybody in your database, that kind of thing. Um, and here is where you can add their affiliate link. Select destination page. Oh, Oh, this is cool. I was wondering about this. Okay, that is awesome. I'm gonna have to show this to somebody that I was like unsure how to do this. This is amazing. Um, so I was wondering about that because you, you basically copy this, put it in here, and then it will automatically insert their affiliate link as long as they are signed up as an affiliate in your program. Um, and I just have one page that I want people to promote. So it's that page. But if like my other friend, you have multiple pages, you can select the multiple pages and give them the link for each one through the email. Um, that's pretty nifty. <laughs> Just discovering things as I go. There's so much in here to discover. Oh my goodness. I love it. Uh, oops. I got so excited. I knocked my camera out. What happened? What happened? Ah! Well, I think that was everything that I wanted to show you. So I will end that there and let me know below if you have any questions.